Well, it is 2.19 in the morning and I just got off of VKN so that I can edit the vlog for yesterday. Um, I didn't vlog today. I don't really know why. I'm trying to think if there's any really good reason. I just, I just didn't. I wasn't in the mood. Maybe, maybe that's a good reason. I didn't really have anything in particular going on today. I even considered just not vlogging today, but I realized that if I didn't put up a video, everyone would worry that something really bad happened. So, that I put up a video to let you know that nothing really bad has happened today. As far as my mother is concerned, she has actually gone home. They have released her into hospice care at home. So, she is there, and they got her all situated from what I hear. And, yeah. So that is good. And then uh, tonight I went to a VKN again and I, Jezebel, my goodness cat. So tonight I went to another VKN and I got so much stuff done. Come here. So I had been working on the eyeball, as you all may remember. The eyeball has, has grown and it has become a full blown, full blown shawl. So, oop, not on my head. That's, that's a whole new different style. That is not the intended way to wear this. But it uh, it looks like this. I'm going to assume you can see it. I don't really know. But it uh, has up on the back. And then it's got this nice, it's shaped so that it will stay on your shoulders. And yeah, I'm happy with it. So woven all the ends tonight. And I will finish writing out the pattern tomorrow. Because right now it is... Um, it's not typed up. So I'll finish typing it up and then maybe have a person or two make it for me and then we'll see what I do with it. Haven't decided where or how I will distribute it. But it will be a thing in the world and that is good because I make things and put them in the world I guess. I was having a discussion with somebody tonight and we were talking about it's always interesting to tell people my story of how I started making things and selling things and I don't know. Just an interesting conversation to have. And the same conversation I've had with so many people. Um, I don't really have... I don't know. I don't know if I have like a great story to it. But it just seems to be a story conversation that comes up a decent amount. So, oh. So tonight, I encountered another thing to add to my list of things in the world about me that just anger me because there's like this weird hypocritical double standard. So why is it that if I am talking to somebody and I think that they sound ignorant, like just in their word choice, particularly like their vocabulary is very poor. Why is it considered super rude? I, mean, I know why, but why is it considered super rude for me to be like, wow, you're a simple person, or I think you're dumb because of the word choice you use, but it is okay for people to comment negatively on my extensive vocabulary and the fact that I use it. Because um, that's been a thing, like, my entire life. I'm really sick of people being like, see, and now, now it's late, and now I can't word, which is really ironic since I'm talking about it, but... Um, my entire life it's been a thing where people feel like it's okay to basically mock you for knowing words and using them but you can't do the reverse or else you're super mean like why is it okay for people to like basically kind of like neg you for being intelligent when the opposite is not okay it just doesn't seem right to me and I find it highly annoying um, again, because I've experienced it so many times for so long, but I don't know. Just another thing I can add to the list of things that I think are super unfair. We're like, why do other people get to say this to me, but I can't say the same thing to them about my beliefs about something or about the way I do something. It's just, I don't know, social order or something, but it's annoying. And like I said, it is ironic that I feel like I'm very, very inarticulate right now. And that's because I am tired I'm not necessarily sleepy, but I'm tired. Because, yes, I finished finished the shawl, and then I sat here for a while, and I was like, I don't even know what to do. Like, I don't know what project to start. I don't. I just don't. And so I was like, okay, we should start on one of your sweaters. So I got out this bag, which has my Bracken cardigan in it, my weather Bracken, and I started on it. So, well, I mean, I'd done some of it. I was, like, in the first part of this light green. 
I hadn't started the light green yet. I was in the middle of the, of the variegated. Maybe? I think so. Somewhere in here. And so I did, uh, I did that, that bit tonight. So it's, it's coming along. It's going to be a thing. I don't know what I feel about it, but I was telling someone tonight, like, I just feel good that this yarn is going to become something. I don't know how I'm going to feel about the finished product, but I know that I will feel better knowing I did something constructive with the yarn, even if it's not my favorite thing or if I give it away or something. Um, but I will feel better knowing that I turned something bad or ill thought out or that I have some negative association with the time period at which it came from. If I can turn it into something better, like that seems good to me. So I don't know. Probably doesn't make much sense. But I'm going to go edit the video, let it upload while I sleep tonight probably. Maybe at least I'll compress while I'm sleeping. And then, um, yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.